Okay, but now, eh, as a wedding planner, have you had, I'm so curious about this question, mm -hmm. have you planned any wedding that two years later, three years later, they called you and said, or you found out that they were no longer together? Has it ever happened to you? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. How did you feel when it happened? I mean, it's, it's not so like sad it's your... now. You might not know, because mm. me, I'm the kind of person that, even if my friend, you, you probably have to really tell me that, mm. probably something like pregnancy, you're pregnant before I will know. Oh, mm. I'm actually the last friend to know when people are dating. Uh, yeah. I'm, the, I'm just up there. So mm. if I finally get to here, I don't know how to bring approach it up. It. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to approach it. Even if somebody, God forbid, loses somebody, I'm the kind of friend that will just sit beside you. Mm. I won't say anything. I just want to be there. I, yeah. I don't know what to say. So usually yeah. it's a tough one to know what to say. But the first one hit me very hard because, of course, everybody wants weddings that they plan to yeah. prosper and do everything. And But the first one really hit me so bad. When it happened, did you look back and say, okay, maybe I saw the signs. We are there. There were no signs. There were no signs. Me, that me, I will see because mm. if finally you look at us, you'll be like, do, will I see if we we'll see yeah. anything love kind of sign? Yeah. It has to be an aggressive sign. But sign, I, yeah. looking back, me personally, no, there were no signs. Friends who say there were signs because they were closer, closer to them yeah. on a personal level. But me, from a client's point of view, there were no there signs were no uh, that were just like raging signs. No, mm. everything was super perfect. If I would even use the word super perfect, mm. yeah, that was one of the best events I'd done. That was one of the events I enjoyed doing. I mm. loved the people. I still speak with the lady till tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah, it's just painful. Sure, you always say most of the most a lot of your brides are your friends yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. most of, like fifty percent. I don't. Mm. Who are the friends? Because most times you're planning your wedding for like a year plus. Yeah, and we are talking almost every, every day. day yeah. At that point, we are friends. Yeah, so, so you exactly. find that some people are really really nice. They mm -hmm. call you. They check on you. What's up? Not just mm. beyond planning. They yeah. know everything that is going on with you, and then we talk with them, we encourage each other, yeah. and we just continue the friendship. So wow. it's, it's sad, though. So it's, sad, yeah, yeah, it's sad, but I think I'm not. I, I'm, when we gather and speak about this kind of thing, mm. I think um, I, I don't get as much of those news for my okay. events because most times I tell them, like, I pray, oh, I'm, a, mm. I'm a spiritual person, so there are some events if I don't take. Okay. But some people are like, ah, ah, ah it's not mana. You know, some other vendors that probably do maybe more weddings are yeah. like, ah, the one I just did three months is done. This one is ah. five months is done. This one I just did. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You said what? You know, other what's, people are so used to it. What do you think? Or what have you been hearing? Let me not even just say what do you think. What have you, have you been hearing that is causing most of these divorces? Nothing serious from what I hear. Like, mm. unless they don't want to speak because most yeah. times they don't want to speak. But it's just irreconcilable difference. Mm. You just feel irreconcilable difference. Sometimes they will not, if it's that serious, I think hardly would you hear something like domestic violence that probably mm. wasn't there. If it's three months, I mean, it was there throughout your yeah. dating. Um, family issues might also be one, like okay. heavy duty family interference, such that both families are trading words that yeah. someone it's cannot take back. Yes, mm. it's getting heated. And it's like, you take your smelling daughter, you take your, <laughs> your useless son, you take your jigger. And at that point, uh, even mm. if the both of you walk out, your family is already done. There so there's no point, there's no happy home like yeah. that. So most times that too. But then irreconcilable difference. Some of them know that they are not really compatible. They just mm. want the wedding. And then when it's done, finances. So you enter inside and you find that he's owing a bunch of money, like millions. That's another thing. Yeah, that, that affects maybe your mm -hmm. baby girl life. You find out that he's it's actually a, a, a scam. Yeah, the, hustler. the guy is struggling. The guy doesn't have this, he doesn't mm -hmm. have that. And then, because I'm not, I'm not even going to just be, how would I put it? I'm not going to just specify or call out a particular mm. region, but mostly Lagos. They have yeah. more weddings, so we hear more stories from, from there. there. And then the reason we hear more stories from them is because the weddings there, usually the budget from the kind of weddings I do, the budgets are really high. high yeah. So yes, when those big budget weddings crash, everybody's like, what? How? Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a lot. And it affects both um, bride and groom very much because you don't want to see the bride that did the wedding that you ate six times in a club. Yeah. Do you get And then you're like, you know, gossip. Choo -choo 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 -choo, mm -hmm. It just goes out and... So most times, it's not like if, if they ever say, oh, this person is scattered, I, I don't think anybody has said something that, oh, this was heavy. That's in your ears, it was like, yeah. okay. Mm. Maybe they just don't want to disclose. Yeah, yeah maybe they just don't want but to But do disclose. you feel that these days people have low tolerance for marriage like they used to have before? Like now, I feel like people are more like, I mean, with women being empowered these days, everybody mm. has their own money, everybody's doing well. In fact, yeah. a lot of women are doing better than men these days. Sure. A lot of men are faking it, they make it. Why do women mm. are actually making, making it? it? 
when they now get married, it's like, I can't deal with your shit. Can you just leave? Or oh, I'm mm. leaving, you know? Mm. Do you feel like that's part of it? Yes, actually, mm. because back then, uh, you have to just stay. Yeah. Right now, I feel the longer any lady stays with you, maybe she just wants to have all her children. If she's yeah. tolerating you. So you also have to be mindful of that. The moment she has her kids, just please try her one more year. As it. <laughs> just, please, <I> like, you. <laughs> just please try her one more year. I'm not even joking. Mm-hmm. This is the best advice I can give you. Yeah. People. Just please try. She might be there tolerating like the worst of bullshit. She has her first child. She has a second. Some people don't want to have kids in different places. They just want yeah. one father. However useless he is. He's, yeah. Just one. Let all of them be siblings. Yeah. Like a wonder. And she'll move. So some people just, they don't want to go about and say, okay, I use a surrogate or I use mm. donor sperm. Yeah. I will enter a marriage that is, I know that doesn't have head and tail. I will enter a marriage with someone I know I cannot respect. Yeah. You understand? Women, yes, they make money, but they are better in managing and then some men still, you, you want a modern wife with a traditional so mindset. I, yes, that's one big mistake. I mean, people you cannot make. pick you can't one. have it, yeah. Mm. Even women too, that want yeah. modern husbands with traditional. traditional come on. Like, come it's, on no. it's clashing. Yeah. Because if you want your, oh, I want my wife to be empowered to have this, to bring XYZ to the table, but I also want her to wake up in the morning and fry egg exactly. and bait me and, and prepare put my water lunch. and bring lunch yeah. and come on it's going to be conflicting she choose one choose one mm-hmm. yeah. so then we have people that are making so much money at that point they want to outsource those things and then you're feeling neglected it's neglected is true when you can just pick it up by yourself exactly you know i feel i find that most of the reasons why people are scattering is just low tolerance yes and mm. then there are some things that you know friends yeah mm. you might just it might be working in your marriage until you go and bring friends inside and they'll be like ah, you're the one on carrying uh, your plate by okay, yourself. It might just be side comments. Yes. And then all of a sudden, you start looking at it like, truly, your wife is just pressing phone and gisting with you. Mm-hmm. Ha, ha, ha. You finish eating and she doesn't just glance to take your plate. Mm-hmm. Before you be like, ah, ah, why didn't you come and carry my plate? Mm. And then she's like, ah, there's nothing there now. Just carry it to the kitchen. Hey, woman, <laughs> you are sending me a whole chief. <laughs> chief Mba to the kitchen. <laughs> you know, chief and uh, people bring up issues for themselves. But the tolerance level uh, is on the floor. Yeah, exactly. It's on the, like, because Even with kids in the picture now, people don't fact, care. No, no, no. <laughs> it's in those days. Mm. In those days. Right now with the kids, people feel like, okay, Okay, kids will, the truth is, I won't even say with kids in the picture, you should mm. now tolerate because these kids are too smart. Yeah, they exactly. know that they, they know, are, they know that you're just there wasting mm-hmm. time. And mm-hmm. they are like, do too much. They're even, self, they're even picking up self on things. Yes, they're, they're and picking leave up this on, place. Sorry. They're picking up on things that they... Eh, you are showing, but you don't know you are showing. Oh, yes. They're picking up on it. Even it's when they enter relationships, they mm-hmm. expect their spouse or their girlfriend to endure things because their mom endured it. So why yeah. are you making noise? So when you start setting boundaries and say, oh, no, you can't do like this, they say, no, you exactly. have to stay. Because, of course, my dad was doing it. My mom was still wearing an mm. with him. They had a happy marriage for 40-something years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really happy. Place. Happy is like, it's relative. relative. Whereas, maybe the next door neighbor, after how many, they just scattered. Mm-hmm. So the children knew that, see, this thing is something that can scatter house. Yes, So when exactly. I enter my next, my, the moment you're seeing the sign, you'll be like, ah, this my wife can leave me. Yes. So you brush up. Mm-hmm. Either way, it affects the children. Yeah. So whether you like, you stay for them, it will affect them. It will affect them. If you go, it will affect mm-hmm. them. So positively or negatively, And you know, this, this thing people say, of, oh, my, I, our mothers endured. Did they really? Okay, maybe they endured on the surface, but it affected them. Many of them were sad. Many of them were angry. Many of them were very bitter. You know, very bitter. Many of them have lived very bitter lives. Bitter. They just put that um, bitterness on the weaker people around them. Mm-hmm. House helps. House helps. Their children, and they now live neighbors. their happy life through their children. Thank you. You know, but people see it as, ah, my mother and my father stay together. They're eating from the same plate. No, talk to your mm-hmm. mothers. Actually, really actually men need to talk to their mothers because I don't think uh, a lot of them no. know. Even your fathers as well. Talk to your fathers. He knows They're he regretted really some things he did. But you, because you don't know about the regret parts, yeah. you're holding on to those things as... I feel like, you know, it's still the same circle. No matter whether it's old or young, they are still going to go through those things. Why? Mm. Because men now, now you the ring. Yeah. You're carrying the girls. She's sitting down. She's doing... You now start entering your 50s, your 60s. You start having one or two health challenges. You now want a wife. You yeah, want exactly. someone to sit back. That's when you can... You might find that she'd be like, oh, really? Really? It's now yeah. that you want... 
No, no, she go there. I heard that it happened. Oh with no, them. she do get Julius, Julius Agu or something. Oh no, okay, no, Julius Agu's own self don't mind him. He's just lying. Julius <laughs> Agu's own. Yeah, of course. Now, mm. when he had the first issue, she was the one that put hand in his mouth. Oh, she stayed with him through all those things. You're coming out of your brain allegedly. Mm. For mm. Nakon Kari was going <laughs> allegedly, allegedly she of course, but she stayed mm. with him. And mm. when you're coming out, people now said, "Bro is going around." Mm. You can't be healed and now want to carry girl, carry girl. for when somebody exactly. had because they did their wedding here in Port Harcourt and she's not from like a, she's from a good very good family yeah so she stayed she's one person that I would say it, you you really know your spouse when you're sick mm-hmm. ah it's not even money money is learning yeah sick to that level because his career everything, everything had to hold mm-hmm. on at some point it was the best dressed man in Nigeria. He had like it's true. yes, he was the best then. dress. Who is a Buka? He mm. was the best dressed. He was winning a lot of things. He had G wagon when people were did not have. G- he was doing very well. Mm. So illness is something that can remove yeah. your finance in a blink of mm-hmm. an eye. So you have financial challenge. You have a sick husband. Mm-hmm. That's a lot though, on a marriage. A lot, yeah. You can't even sprinkle infidelity. As you can't in, test the woman mm-hmm. like that. You know, yeah. at some point, everybody has their breaking point. So, even if there was, there was speculation, there was this, maybe she just got tired. Yeah. You know, instead of me to hate you to the point that I will kill you one day, As in, eh? let me just go. <laughs> you know, and when, say, when I'm supposed to give you your drugs, I'll add extra. <laughs> I'm not supposed to add. <laughs> let, me just go. Not wake up. let me just go at yeah. this point. So, that's just it. But what do you think of this? Uh, I'm just jumping. Patience was awkward. I said she will not leave her marriage for she won't leave her home okay. for anybody. That the infidel will go. I don't know who she's referring to as infidel. Okay, yeah. In terms of infidelity being yeah. a reason, yeah. I feel like wedding is not or marriages are not like one shoe one shoe fits all or yeah. one size fits all. It depends on what you want. You know, mm. it depends on what you want. Some people don't see it as reason enough. That's also mm. good. That's also fine. Some people see it as the breaking point as you mm-hmm. try it amount. That's also fine. You know, mm. everybody doesn't. I just look at it like, well, you might if you don't see it as a breaking point, you might just be careless. If you get something like HIV, you can pass it to your children. To your children, yeah. That's there are some STDs that mm-hmm. if you get those STDs and you get pregnant, your child might have like some developmental well, issues. Know? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, do you know one thing I even think happens with well older people now? Where mm. a lot of them are not even being intimate with their husbands anymore. So it's yeah, like whatever. Like roommates. Yeah, they don't care. Mm. They they have their own rooms. They have their they are separate. They mm. don't care. They just wanted to eat your food. To be happy. Yeah, do what you, you want, want to, to do. carry get to. Mm. Just don't, carry and just don't bring her to my. Just home. don't bring her to mm. my home. Do that thing you're doing. Do it there. Do it there. And then when we go for occasions, you see the guy comes with the lady, but then mm. comes with his side chicks and. I feel like people, you know Nigerian women now, mm. like the core Nigerian woman feels divorce is worse than death. You yes. can't even like what? Am I a widow? What do you mean? <laughs> when it. my husband is alive, you know that mm. feeling of I don't blame them. It's the way the society is yeah. it's still lord. And then it doesn't favor a single mother so much. It's you know, true. when you come out, what what are you doing with the children? Yeah. That's the first thing. Mm-hmm. A single father can remarry. Mm-hmm. Sharp, he can sharp. marry somebody that just came out from university. Mm-hmm. But it's so tough, especially for mothers. Sorry. Let me not let me let me divert a bit. Peter, is it Peter or Paul? Paul. Which one is dating that oh! skinny <laughs> fine Paul. girl? It's Paul. <laughs> Please, what is happening in that place? As if, uh, See, I'm asking like, as if, as if Paul, he's, he's like, as if I'm his, I'm his younger cousin. <laughs> Paul is out to pepper us. I always mm. tell my friend, I say, See, this relationship will favor us one way or the other. As in, eh? He will sing. Uh, if he break her heart, he will sing. If they're in love, he will, he sing. will sing. So it will favor me. The day she leave him, he will sing <laughs> very good album. Yeah. But, but see, because he, I don't think he's inspired again. He needs to sing. <laughs> no, but the thing with Paul, I feel the moment Paul started disrespecting Peter's wife, I knew he wasn't treating his wife well. Right. You it's cannot true. you cannot you fake mm-hmm. that level of disregard yeah. for a woman. You can't fake it. Mm-hmm.